Ages. I don't know. Oh, look at this. All right. So, what's going on, guys? You know the drill. It's your boy, Tyler Nolan. We are in the snake room. It's a little messy. A little medium. Medium, medium level of mess. messy. Shmee -jim. But uh, we are moving some things around. So, I told you guys previous videos. Try to make sense of where we have all the animals in this room. All the spitters I want in one section. All the arboreal stuff I want in one section. The kings, the rattlesnakes. The other, all the rattlesnakes are one here. So this, all the rattlesnakes are gonna go in there. But today, we are doing a Gila monster video. Finally, it's been a while. Slash Haven't beaded done, lizard. Yeah, Gila slash beaded lizard video. How to set up both cages. A lot of people think that they're the same animal. Like literally, people don't really know the difference. So today, we're gonna show you guys the difference. Mm -hmm. Physically, what they look, how they look. Temperaments. My healers are a little bit chiller than the beaded. Sometimes we're gonna see how they act today. And we're gonna set up their cages and show you guys how we set up both of them. They're both different. One is more woodsy, one is more desert. Oh, look at all my babies. Look how big these freaking beaded lizards have gotten. They're so cool. Now remember, back in the day when I first started this channel was when I got this little beaded right here tiny it was a tiny tiny little baby it was only a few inches long and now look how big he is in just a, what a year and a half two years since we've been doing youtube it's crazy growth look at the other one's trying to crawl out hey you gotta stay inside there sir hey, get out of there all right so first things first we're gonna take care of these gila monsters so gila monsters you can find them in arizona and new mexico now the gilas are way more of a desert animal than the beaded. The beaded is more, like more woodland areas, so we want to set them up accordingly. So for the Gila's, obviously we've got a pretty hot basking spot for them. And in this new enclosure for them, this new setup, we're gonna be using sand for the substrate. Now, always make sure you use a nice reptile safe sand. I like to use this repti sand. It is also calcium. Two bags is, we could have used three bags, that's all right. So it's nice and safe, really small granules. So that way, if it gets on their rats or anything while they're eating, totally harmless to them. So that is what you want to stick with. Look at me, such a climber. So the thing with beaded lizards is, they spend about 98% of their lives underground and hiding in little tiny burrows with a whole bunch of them together but they do like to come out sometimes, and you can actually find them climbing in trees and in bushes. And as you can notice right now, they are great climbers. He's climbed right out of this box, and he's trying to, he's trying to escape. Sir, you cannot. But see the temperament with these guys? Now, you remember when they were babies, they were super bitey, super, super mean. When they're in their cage, they're definitely a little bit on the territorial side, and they try to bite me. But once they're out of the cage, they're pretty cool animals. And look how big he's getting. These guys are going to get a lot bigger too. This is not full size. Both of these animals are maybe two years old. So the beaded's get way bigger than Gila's. Gila's, this is what you're looking for a Gila. That's pretty much full size. This Gila right here, she's probably about 15 to 18 years old. I've had her, I've had her personally for about 15 years and she was already a few years old when I got her. So she is my old sweetheart, Sheila. This guy right here is only a couple years old and already way bigger than her. And he's going to continue to grow. He's still going to get twice this size. That is a huge venomous lizard. Very, very cool. Obviously, nowhere in comparison to the Komodo dragon, but still a gigantic venomous lizard that you do not want to get bit by. This Gila monster right here, he's probably like 20 years old, literally. He's a very, very old man and he's been having 
not trouble eating. He still has decent weight, but he's just skinny in some areas just because he's he's super old and slow and weak all the time. So I have to be really careful with this guy. I have to hand feed him all the time, for, even for the last, what, year probably. Yeah, easily. At least. For the last year at least. Probably last two years. I have to make sure that he eats all the time. Like every, every few days, he eats probably twice a week. I have to make sure... He opens up his mouth. I have to literally put the fuzzy in his mouth and make him bite it and watch to watch and make sure that he eats the whole thing. So hopefully we have this guy around for longer, but his days are numbered. Little, little Papa Gila, sad guy. So check this out. This is their new enclosure in here, their new setup. Hot basking area over here. We got a nice little concrete slate. This is also made out of concrete. So this will be nice and hot, heat up for them. They can bask over here when they want to chill out. They can go in their little their little den over here. It's nice and cool and dark, perfect for them to hide in. They're gonna love this little setup. Sheila, go in with Sid. Sid, you old man. He's awesome though. But yeah, you can see, he's just a little bit bony back here. Like, poor guy. I wish you were a little bit thicker like your like your girlfriend. Look how thick and healthy she is. She's great. She's been a horse ever since I've had her. She's always done really, really well. But this little guy, he's he just needs some attention. Needs some special help, okay? Alright, you enjoy this new case. Let's set up these beads. Dope! Alright, so check this out. So we got our desert guys up here. Arizona, New Mexico, desert area, okay? Down below more mexico guatemala lizards okay so with that being said they like it more woodsy so we use mulch for the bottom we have branches because like i said before they spend most of their time burrowed underground but when they do come out they like to climb you can find them in trees and bushes everything like that not like the heel monsters heel monsters are more terrestrial you're not really going to find them climbing a whole lot these guys climb a lot so i love to give them branches for enrichment they come out at night Especially like when I'm in the in the snake room at night, I'll see them out climbing, having a great time. Let's see, come here. Hey, excuse me. You see how you gotta have your wits about you though. They still try to bite you sometimes. They're not super super bitey the bigger that they get, but they can still tag you, so you gotta be really careful. But just look how cool these guys are. So their tails are not as fat as the Gila's. Their colors are not as vibrant. These guys are Rio Forte beaded lizards, so they're a little bit more yellow than normal. So they have a lot of spots. There's also completely black ones that my friend Steven Jelly produces. There's a, there's a couple really cool morphs. Um, I, I'm not, not sure if there's anybody that produces albinos, especially Gila monsters, but that'd be really, really cool. Imagine an albino Gila or an albino beaded. Super sick. So let's get these guys in their new enclosure. Look at that. Beautiful. Excuse me. I'll pick you up. See? They're not that bad. Misunderstood. Very, very cool. Cute, cute, cute faces. They got split tongues just like your daddy. Very cool. All right, so get you guys back in your new home. Nice and cozy. Hell yeah, that looks great, right? Super, super cool. Sick! Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, it looks bad, I am. Looks great. Got all these cages fixed. There's nothing up here. Actually, no, there, the mail is up here, but we just switched all these lights around. That's why that light is on. We're gonna fix that here in a minute. All right, so that is it, guys. We'll keep you posted on everything else. Dude, we got some new hognose snakes coming tomorrow mm -hmm. and the next day. Mm -hmm. And then I'm done for a while. I need to chill out on the freaking hognose snakes, bro. They're just addicting. And it's honestly, when I see it. it's an investment. A little project thing I got going on. It's gonna be cool. Party. So stay tuned for all of that. Rattlesnake wall, doing that soon. Rusty video. Dude, we got a lot of videos to make. We still got to do the monitor cages. There's a lot to do here. We're, we got to... Something happened with the alligators. Yeah, I know. You know. It's a secret. It did happen. But stay tuned for that. I'll tell you guys what all happened with the alligators. They're still here. But we're going to... They are still here. Yeah, we're going to set them up. You'll, you'll see. I'm, I'm giving away too much. It's a surprise. It's going to be freaking awesome, okay? I'm really excited about the gator thing. Should be bad eh? Pumped. Super pumped. So until next time, guys, holla. Merch, my website is down right now. You cannot get merch. We are working on some new merch things. 
I'm kind of going to do like a merch box. So we're, we're going to do all the merch ourselves, ship it out from the shop, send you guys a package, like a shirt, some stickers, some snake skin, a little signed autograph. A brand of Tyler's hair. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah, they can do voodoo stuff. That's not cool. All right, so until next time. But they never really understand me. I need a comma like I need a Grammy. She needs to flow with her designer panties. Yeah, we eating plenty. Check the pantry from the sound waves to the rebel lines from the tattered bridges to expensive dishes. Now we eating ends with these new beginnings. Yet the sign a major for the bank roll. But thank the Lord that it dies at penitentiary. Nice guy, but my inside is empty. Mighty flashy with a bird's eye. Scribble gym to get my pockets lined till I get arthritis. Wish my heart is icy. Walking past the bouncer like I knew somebody. Queen like Helen Cloudy or the poison ivy. But from like a stroller with a co-sign me. I don't even like me. No, I'm staring in the mirror in different rules, this nigga.